Morning, guys. This is Steve with Jesus is Alive in America. Also, Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about the marriage supper of the Lamb. Um, I heard it for 38 years, probably. So, a long time. Um, never really got it till about a month ago. But, anyhow, I wanted to talk about two scriptures um, and then some other ones that I had. <clears throat> Matthew 22 is the, the parable of the wedding feast. And Matthew 20 really are the two that I want to highlight. But I'm not going to read them. Um, I'll let you read them for yourself. But really in the marriage supper of the Lamb, one of the things I want you to take away from it, don't take it lightly. Don't take the Word of God lightly. Don't take the seemingly minor details He does in your life lightly. Um Tells you to go to the left instead of the right when you're driving. Uh, go to McDonald's when you don't really like it instead of Arby's or whatever. Um, shopping or timing or just, just don't take it lightly, guys. And don't take his word lightly. Don't take your prayers lightly. Don't take the things of the spirit lightly. And that Matthew piece pretty much it's about the labors in the field and the harvest, the same guys. Whether you're the doorkeeper or senior pastor that's been saved 150 years, take a look at the thief on the cross. You know, what church was he going to? What was his address? What ministry was he in under? But he made it in. So, anyhow, I don't take things lightly, but, um, and then there's some scriptures that uh, I wanted to read. I do want to read one out of Revelation, though, because I got this this morning. Um, the Lord would wake me up real, real early. Um, I don't want to get some sleep, but, so it's been kind of broken up, but that's okay. I, you know, it's just a season of prayer, so three, four in the morning, two sometimes even. But, anyhow, this was this morning. It was in Revelations out of 19, actually. He had me read the whole of 19, but 19 and 8. Actually, let's go to 6. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, as the sound of many waters, and as the sound of a mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigns. Let us be glad and rejoice. Give him glory for the marriage of the lamb has come and his wife has made herself ready. And to her it was granted to be arrayed in fine linen, clean and bright, for the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints. The marriage supper of the lamb. Let us glorify in that. So anyhow, there's one other thing I want to share with you. Um, bunches of scriptures, but actually there's just a couple that I want to kind of share with you. Um, I got a friend of ours that's a young man that's kind of starting to hit a, hit a gold mine here with on 27. <clears throat> So, um, I started looking it up. So I started looking up book of 27. Then one morning, the Lord woke me up. He said, go to Matthew 27, uh, Jeremiah 27, Isaiah 27. Then he said, go to Genesis 2 and 7, and then go to Revelations um, 2 and 7. So I'm going to read, read both of those, actually, um, real quick, and then just kind of end with that. But... Just don't take what the Lord's showing you lightly, guys. What's Jesus telling you to do? Get the why back into, into your heart if it's not already there. Why are you even doing this? Why are you even, what's your purpose? What do you, why do you even go to church? Why do you even minister? Why do you even do anything if it's not? For your heart being right, 
and in love with Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit, and his word. That needs to be. So don't take things lightly, guys. Two and seven. Kind of a standalone scripture, actually. He who has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give to eat from the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Let's jump over. That's pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to kind of let you guys just kind of chew on that and digest it yourselves. Uh, 2 and 7 in Genesis. And the Lord God formed a man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being. Kind of like the beginning and the end, guys, you know? So, um, but pick a book, 20, look up 27, the, the verses 27 or 2 and 7. Um, just kind of, you know, that's kind of a journey I'm going to go on. I'm doing going to do a little bit of study. I've just been downloaded a lot of scriptures. The Lord's been downloading a lot of scriptures to me. So it's like, thank God for a computer because I've been putting them all in there. Um, seemingly a little bit scattered, but not really because I'm not taking it lightly. They're there. And I'm starting to formulate and put things together. Um, I really like the word formulate, but anyhow, um, praying a lot about it and timing and we're going to end with this. The Lord spoke to me early, early in the morning, one morning, within the last couple of weeks. He said, time is holy. I was like, so I thought, oh, that's pretty cool, God. So I get to my computer, which I've been doing a lot because some memory issues, um, and so it's like, you know, now it's in the computer. So I'm starting to type in, my time is holy. He said, no. He said, time is holy. That's why I said, don't take it lightly, guys. What you're doing with your time. What the Lord's, the vessel he's created you to be. Places, things, people, whether it's your relatives, your wife, your children, your neighbors, your coworkers. It's all unto something. Because it's his time. Time is holy. So, anyhow, I love you guys. Uh, talk to you soon. Um, look at some of the vi prior videos to this. Um, a lot of them were done at the downtown Dallas Homeless Shelter, one of the sh shelters that my wife and I minister at. Um, we're looking to expand some more, too, and do some more things soon. It's just the same thing. I'm kind of waiting on the timing and st still praying and processing and thinking and just kind of putting it out there. I just want to make sure I'm on the exact direction and path that the Lord wants me to be on and not just something because I want to do it, make me give me warm, fuzzy feelings and you know, accolades or attaboys or egos or any of that other kind of stuff. I just don't want it. I want to do it with pure heart, pure clean hands, righteous and holy. His will, not mine. So anyhow, love you guys. Um, just look at some of those videos. Some of them are pretty cool. We're getting a little bit better at it. I'm about to get a tablet. And so we love you guys. Talk to you all soon.